Thanks for tuning in. This is Topper Be Thompin. In this video, we're going to do a review and demonstration of a brand new headlight available for these latest generation KTM XCWs. These are made by a company called Spartan MX Parts out of beautiful Sylvania. So stick around. I'm going to do a comparison demonstration of this new headlight to the stock LED headlight. So these 2024 and newer KTM XCWs actually do come with a pretty upgraded headlight. It's now LED and it's supposed to be like three times brighter than the older halogen. But in my humble opinion, having ridden at nighttime with it once before, there's still a lot of room for improvement. So this Spartan MX parts light is is a vast improvement over stock whether you're looking to upgrade or just replace like a broken stock headlight unit so let's take a closer look but first if you're in the mid-atlantic and looking for your next toy i really hope you check out blue ridge power sports located in harrisonburg virginia all their information is listed in the description below if you're after a honda ktm or can-am they've got you covered they have competition motocross, enduro, and cross-country bikes. They also carry sport quads and utility 4x4s from Honda and Can-Am. Every customer is treated as if they want your business and for you to return in the future for your next machine. I really hope you consider Blue Ridge Power Sports for your next purchase. Trust me, you'll have a great experience. So as I mentioned, Spartan MX Parts is headquartered out of Sylvania, so it's possible that you may not have heard of them yet. They've been around for about two years and they really are growing in popularity. I hope they continue to grow in popularity here in the States. Um, they do make a lot of different parts, including headlights for most of your Austrian brands, but also like the Shirkos and Betas, and I'm sure they're expanding to even more brands. So I'll have all of their website information in the description below. They also have a retailer here in the US called First Track Motorsports. They ship to the US and Canada, but their company does ship worldwide. So if you're after one of your their lights, you can easily get one. So full disclosure, I care way more about being honest and transparent with you guys and just trying to uh, uphold my own integrity than I do about getting free stuff in exchange for a review. So you can rest assured that anything I buy myself or I receive for free from a company to review, I will give my upfront, honest, fully transparent opinions of it. So this was a really simple setup. The owner of Spartan MX Parts reached out to me on social media and simply asked, hey, if I send you a light, will you review it? That was it. I said yes, gave him the info for the bike, 2024 XCW, and I told him that I wanted the black housing because they have a bunch of different color options to choose from, and that was it. I did not have to include any specific language, talk about the specs, there were no restrictions on the duration of the video. All he asked was, please do a review. I said yes, he sent me the light. So, that tells me that they must have a lot of confidence in their parts to be able to do that. A lot of companies out there are gonna to wanna to see the review or force you to say certain things about it if they're gonna send you something. So yeah, they must be confident about their products. So I won't bore you with all the specs. All those will be in the description below, but real quick, some of the more important ones are that it has a 45 watt draw. There's a claimed 4,500 lumen output. They do claim that it is waterproof, although I never saw an IP rating and it weighs about 580-ish grams or about 1.16 pounds. And then lastly, it is completely plug and play with your KTM connections. Okay, so here is the stock headlight at nighttime. Not too bad. You can see how it protrudes quite a bit. It is an improvement over the previous halogen bulb. Here's the Spartan light. You can already tell right there. This is so much brighter. And I apologize. I used the GoPro to do this little nighttime test and it just didn't do either light any justice. So here's the stock light. It's much, much brighter than this um, using your own eyes. I just said the GoPro settings were kind of off, but I do want to call out, see that horizontal cutoff right there? I assume that's because this is an enduro bike, you know, so they want to make these approved for use on the road and in traffic. So you're not blinding uh, oncoming traffic. But when you're on the trail, that horizontal cutoff is really bad. When you do these sharp turns, all of a sudden the trail disappears out from underneath you. So I don't really like this stock headlight for nighttime trail riding. Sure, it'll get you back to the truck in a pinch, but here is the Spartan light. And again, the camera is not doing this justice at all. It completely lit up my backyard. The things I wanna point out here are that it lights up in front of your tire, but also way down the trail. So if you're going fast at nighttime, 
you've got a lot more illumination of the trail ahead of you. And when you're making sharp turns like this too, again, the camera doesn't do it justice. It completely lights up everything in front of you. So you get way brighter of a light, you get a much better throw down the trail, and you get better side to side connection, um, not connection, spread of the light as well. So again, this GoPro just kind of didn't do either light any justice, but you can kind of tell from these videos how much better it is. Mounting the light is extremely simple and just as easy as the stock light. You even use all the same stock hardware. Spartan did include a short adapter for the XCWs and XC models since they do have like different pins, but it's all plug and play. They also built in a fair bit of adjustability so you can get the correct angle of the beam. These light housings are 3D printed and I'm not certain exactly which type of resin they use, but it feels very durable and the fit and finish is nicely done. All the mounting holes line up perfectly. The wiring connections seem to be high quality as well. And in fact, I think they're essentially the same exact connections as the stock connections. The interior housing is nicely done as well. It appears to me to be like a black painted metal, uh, possibly aluminum. Uh, I did not test it with a magnet. Overall, this headlight's a very lightweight one, and I really prefer this flat, flush lens over the stock lens, which protrudes, and making it a little bit more vulnerable to getting cracked by a branch or something. So, my final thoughts. Again, I care way more about being transparent. I went into this review totally prepared to give it like a, a negative review if I thought it deserved one, but I was very pleasantly surprised. The build quality, the light output, like the beam throw, it's really tough to tell in the demonstration videos that I use because the GoPros are just garbage, but trust me, it's a way brighter light, much better beam spread. You can actually do like nighttime trail riding with this thing. And who knows how the long-term reliability and durability will be. I have no reason to believe it won't be anything but really good. So I could honestly say, I would definitely buy this light with my own money, even as an upgrade over stock too. The stock beam, in my opinion, even though you can't adjust it a little bit, it's just not really conducive to nighttime trail riding, especially like fast trail riding through the woods on rough terrain. So this is an upgrade that I can highly recommend. So thank you Spartan MX Parts, I appreciate it.